Every Christmas Eve, Bethlehem is the focal point in the occupied West Bank. Palestinians of all faiths gathering with tourists in Manger Square in front of the Church of the Nativity. And this year, with the UN resolution condemning Israeli settlements, there is a mood of more optimism. It's a very good resolution. The US abstained. We got 14 votes. That's so good. I thank all the countries who voted for Palestine. As long as we are united and as long as there are countries who support us, hopefully things will change. But Palestinian unity is questionable with the actions of Hamas in Gaza. The Palestinian leadership strategy may have had a moral shot in the arm, but with its popularity waning, is it failing? No, no, not at all. Uh, of course, uh, this is for the benefit of the Palestinians because now the whole world know uh, more about the suffering of the Palestinian people and they know more uh, that the Palestinian people are people who, who want peace and who are uh, working for peace. We're going to international organizations because uh, we think that uh, people should, should help us and these organizations should help us achieve our goals. This is Bethlehem, just down the road from the Church of the Nativity. Over here is what the Israelis call Harhoma. 25,000 settlers live there. Now the Palestinians say that it stands in the way of Bethlehem and occupied East Jerusalem, which is just in the distance. That, they say, is an obstacle to peace, one of many. This is one of 18 settlements surrounding Bethlehem. Reaction among settlers here is one of continued defiance. The settlement was built in 1997. There are now more than 600,000 settlers in occupied East Jerusalem and the West Bank, and the UN resolution on its own won't stop more building. This Christmas, there may be some hope for Palestinians, but whether the new year will deliver any chance of peace is open to question, and the answers that could be given by a new US president, Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera, Bethlehem in the occupied West Bank.